because Lizzie has a special model number set up, in other words, I, I can't just go add a unit and manually type in whatever I want to on the model number. We, we have a special section that tracks the individual model numbers, and that enables us to be able to link like model numbers together, keep up with vehicle types and that kind of thing, so that we know exactly what everything, where everything fits. Um, the, but, but because of that, you can't just go in and change a model number. The system has to have some way of organizing what units are linked to that model number. And then are we changing the model number in a way that is going to, across the board, update everything that's in the system? Or does it need to only change this one unit? So there's a lot of things that have to be taken into account. So if you want to change a model number's information on a particular unit, we have to look up that unit and, and click the change model number info button here. And that gives me the ability to change whatever I need to change here. And I just hit the save uh, changes button. And then Lizzie will look and see, for example, do I have other units already in the system that were tagged with the original model numbers info? Let's say I changed the year. And there were five other units in there that were year 2000. I just changed this to 2010. Lizzie will look and say, well, I, I can't change all of those units over to this new year because they may are supposed to be 2000. So it'll actually create a whole new model number for the year 2010 and then link this thing to it instead of changing the other units that were in there. So like I said, there's a lot of different things that, that go into what, when we can do what. But the change model info button here on the major unit item itself will enable me to change whatever I need to for that particular unit.